kick. How's it going everybody? I'm Dr. John Clayton, your Layton chiropractor here in Utah at Supra Chiropractic. Today's video will be showing you some low back pain on this patient who was working on some stuff outside, planting some trees, doing a lot of yard work. It's a really common thing to see in the spring, summer, as well as fall times of year. And so we're gonna be showing you how we address this. First thing we're gonna start off a TENS unit. We have one right here and it is super awesome to use, super affordable as well. You can buy these on Amazon. They're like 30, 40 bucks somewhere in there. They do the job just great, hold battery life just great. And this company has been great. And I have a couple of these units. It's the Alvon or AUV. VON brand. They've been really good and I do recommend them to all my patients if you want something that you can just use as portable and basically highly effective for the best price possible. So if you need a TENS unit for low back pain, pain anywhere else I guess too, be sure to check out those ones on Amazon. Just look up TENS unit TNS and that's what we'll be using on this patient as well as like adjusting them and then showing you some muscle stuff. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Check it out. All right, so we're going to start the rib cage here. Take a deep breath in here for me. All the way out. Deep breath in here, all the way out, and deep breath in here, all the way out, deep breath in here, all the way out, and then deep breath in here, all the way out, deep breath in here, all the way out. Got a deep breath in here. There it is. Deep breath in here. All the way out. Got some deep ones in there, huh? Oh, yeah. Man. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to start real low in here, okay? Okay. Deep breath in here. All the way out. It's going to be a little bit tender. Just like that. Okay, we're going to hold pressure now, okay? okay? Feel that tense up on you? Uh -huh. Yeah, the whole back kind of goes into spasm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hold that pressure because that's all those muscles around the spine mm -hmm. that are freaking out now. Okay. okay? That's why we're going to hold that pressure. You probably feel that tens unit intensify a little bit on there, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, you had that thing up that high? <laughs> okay. You can okay. really feel that down in the lower back too. Yep. Okay. The pads still feel good on you there? Yeah, they feel fine. Okay. Perfect. All right. Deep breath in here now, all the way out. Good. Deep breath in here, all the way out. Good. Deep breath in here, all the way out. Perfect. And then deep breath in here, all the way out. And deep breath in here. All the way out. So with this patient, one of the things we're doing here is first we started them off with a, a TENS unit that we went through and kind of hit the area through there. We just used two pads surrounding the lumbar spine. We're right here in the L4, L3 region. Mainly what we want to do here is release all the muscles in here. Then what I'm going to be looking for on the patient is the rotation of the lumbar spine in here. Lumbar spine is not one that rotates a whole ton, but on some people, if they get that little bit of rotation in there, they're going to feel that little pinch or like pop in there. Their back gets thrown out and then they have a lot of soreness in there, a lot of achiness, and so that's what we're going to be addressing through here. First thing we want to do is work on the muscles surrounding the spine through here. One thing we particularly working on is going to be like your quadratus lumborum or QL muscles, as well as the muscles kind of next to the spine, the paraspinal muscles, as well as the ones deep inside by the spine, the multifidi muscles. And that's one of the things that's really good with TENS units is you're able to target the multifidi muscles by doing the electrical stimulation through there and going deep into that area to then calm those muscles down so you get the best recovery for the low back in these kind of patients. So when it comes to this area here, one of the muscles that we can also adjust if we're having issues in the upper lumbar is the latissimus dorsi or lat muscle that hooks in right about here. We're going to be particularly working right in this area right here. So one of the things you can do, it's actually surprising how deep you can go in this area. So when I work, I'm going to work my elbow right in here. We're going to get right into this area here and push straight down. Okay, I'm just to the side of the spine here, working on that muscle there. And I'm just going straight down into that muscle there as deep as I can go. Okay. 
it's very close to the spine and so the patient will feel like a lot of pressure is in their spine, but it's just in their muscle next to the spine. And that's for the quadratus lumborum. Like I said, multifidi will do best if you work with a TENS unit in this area. And then we wanna get right in. I'm gonna go kind of angled towards the spine here, kind of hit the paraspinal. And then if I get really deep in there, I can get onto that multifidi just like that. Um, it is a very uncomfortable thing. And so you wanna make sure with the patient that you're doing it to their tolerance as much as possible. And that's how you work on the QL, paraspinal and multifidi muscles from a deep tissue perspective. Okay. So now what we're gonna do here, after we've gone through and worked on the muscles in the lumbar spine area, when we wanna adjust this, we're just gonna move this up just like this. We wanna feel for the spine. So we have the spinous processes of the lumbar spine and then I'm gonna come down. The spine has rotated slightly to the right. And so it's gonna lift up kind of that transverse process area of the spine here, the farthest lateral point of the spine. So what I wanna do is I wanna find the most tender spinous process and which one's most tender for you? The lowest, definitely low. Right down here? Like right in there. Yeah. Okay, how about down here? That too. Okay, yeah. so we got both L4 and L5 rotated out. So what I'm gonna do is go, go on L4. I have a drop table here, I'm gonna lift that up. I'm gonna put pressure kind of directly lateral like this. Deep breath in here for me, all the way out. Put the pressure, you're gonna hear the table drop. Just like that, we're gonna hold that pressure. Okay, and then we're gonna let off slow. And we're gonna do the same thing, one area lower. Lift that table up, get right in here. You wanna avoid that spot of the Part, part of the uh, sacroiliac area right there, the PSIS. We want to go right here on L5. Got to kind of scoot that down here, get in here, deep breath in, all the way out. You're going to hear the table drop. Hold that pressure. Very painful adjustment. So a lot of times too, we'll show you some other ways you can also adjust this. But when I have a back that is very painful and very sore, I wanna address it like this first because it's the most accurate way I can address the rotation perspective rather than just hoping I can get it on a rotation from like when they're in the side position like you see most chiropractors do. So that's the first way I'll address it and then we'll hit it from the other component on the side as well. So when I come in here, what I'm gonna be doing here on the spine, we wanna still keep that same rotation here on the left side of the spine. Okay. So I'm gonna position the patient like this. What I want to do now is get that pressure. I'm going to kind of slightly pull up so it opens up the spine a little bit. Hook in right here. I'm actually going to hook in on the spinous process of that area. Bring it through here, then here. Kick down like that. Okay. And then now we're going to do the hip. Deep breath in. All the way out. Let it relax for me. Just like that. Laying your other side for me. Not fun having your back out, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so now on this side, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mainly focus on just the hip itself right here. Or the SI joint. Deep breath in here. All the way out. Okay, laying your back for me. Now we're gonna release kind of the hip socket area here. Deep breath in. All the way out. That. Got a little bit of ankle on that one too. Deep breath in here. All the way out. Perfect. Let that relax there for me. Good me doing your elbows. What's that? You're okay with me doing your oh, elbows? Oh yeah, sure. Okay. Let that relax. Let it relax there. Let that relax there. Last time I was in there, the only thing I didn't like that you did was my toes. Oh, the toes? Yeah. That's why I kept the shoes on this time, right? <laughs> away Ooh, sneaky, sneaky, huh? I know most people, toes is not fun. No. I don't think, I don't, there's very few people that enjoy toes. I'll right. be honest with you. <laughs> that Let was the, a rough one, I remember ugh. that. <laughs> Let that relax. There it is. Oh. Yeah, the only time toes is super important is if you have hammer toes. That's why I do them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let that relax there. Yeah. 
Thanks. Deep breath in here. All the way out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, I love making these videos for you. And if you have a question on what I do in the areas that I'm working, especially the low back in this video, we went over in depth some of the things that we were doing for these. Hope you guys are able to hear the pops and clicks just like you like to hear. But I also like to throw in the educational content because a lot of people like to know what I'm doing and why I'm doing it so that you can ask your chiropractor if you're not in Utah, hey, can you do that on me? Or what is it that we would do in this area to better help me get out of pain? Because that is the goal in the end is to get people out of pain, feeling better, go live your life to do it without you know any care plans we just get in there fix the problem we have identified what it is we get you better you go live your life we give you some exercises to do and you go from there that's really how it should be that's the way that i do it i know a lot of people don't do it that way but for me that's the way that i found works best for me and that's what my patients really appreciate and like about super chiropractic is just that ability to come in get adjusted leave feeling way better they don't have to come back in a million times and we go from there so that's the way that i like to practice chiropractic um that's the way that i'd want to be treated as a patient as well if I was going to a chiropractor as well. Again, here at Super Chiropractic, we've got your back and everything else. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one.